Hi and welcome back to another Tactics Tuesday video. Today we're going to be talking about when you should sail fast and when you should point high towards the wind. And uh, as I said in the last video, uh, you should basically always try to point pretty high. That should be your normal mode, going quite high. So that's why we're in this video going to talk mostly about when you should uh, put on a little bit of an extra speed mode to achieve something. And uh, first off, uh, light air, very very light winds. You usually want to focus a little bit more on the speed than the angle you're going because if you get too eager, too excited with uh, trying to point high, point high towards the wind, you'll easily lose all your speed. And in light air, it takes a very very long time to gain that speed again. And uh, there's another reason as well, so if you keep up the speed, it's easier to get to the next gust and find the next patch of wind. So that's another reason to keep the speed mode on, slightly looser sails, uh, point a little bit more away from the wind than, than your normal mode, as we, as we talked in the last video. And here's just a representation of uh, light winds, it's like quite light and uh, bright uh, glassy surface and then we have a few gusts here it's a bit darker and here it's as well another gust and there's a slightly darker area I'm not sure you can see it that's the what I'm trying to represent there all right another scenario when you want to focus more on your speed mode than uh, on your pointing is in very unstable conditions so when you have very very big shifts and uh, which come randomly and quite often um, you want to focus more on your speed because you want to reach the next shift quicker so here I'm trying to represent two boats they're perfectly equal in this position but the red boat here is going speed mode they're gonna be a little bit faster but they're gonna go on a wider angle towards the wind so they're BMG, their velocity made good, so how much they're actually getting towards the wind or towards the next mark is probably a little bit worse for this red boat than for this blue one, but because we have very unstable winds they're most likely going to reach the next shift quicker and then it might look something like this they reach the shift and the blue boat has not yet gotten to the wind shift so the blue boat is going on the same, same angle still, the red one has gotten a good shift and then tapped. And next thing we know, it's gonna look like this, the red one is gonna be in front. The other option for the blue boat, rather than going behind the red boat and then tacking, is to tack before the red boat crosses them, but then they might not have reached the wind shift yet, and then they'll be sailing on a bad angle away from the red boat and again they'll be losing so that's why in unstable conditions you want to focus a little bit more on your speed and reach the next shift quicker all right another scenario is if you had a hunch or for some reason you've gone uh, a little bit solo to one side of the course it's paid off you're doing very well here out on the left but you're pretty alone. The whole rest fleet, the rest of the fleet is on the right. As we see here, this is the line which is uh, 90 degrees to the wind direction. And as we can see, this blue boat is in front of the rest of the fleet. But it's very risky because a little wind shift to the right will change all that and the rest of the fleet will be in front of the blue boat and uh, they will have lost everything they've gained and uh, it's a really bad thing because they're alone here and they lose very very much so we want to counter that we want to play it a bit safer by going speed mode so that we can cross the fleet quicker so once we get if we're this blue boat if we get here and we manage to cross the rest of the fleet in front of them then we're safe then it doesn't really matter what shift do we get we're always gonna be pretty okay, if not even gain even more. Uh, so that's why we want to, here, as the blue boat, put on our speed mode, so that we can manage to reach in front 
of the rest of the fleet before the next wind shift comes and uh, just undoes all the gains we've gotten. So then we want to get there because then we're safe. All right. That's the whole point of uh, going speed mode when you're a bit solo out somewhere. It's uh, another way of playing it safe, kind of a conservative thing. So in general, you want to stay quite close to the rest of the fleet because that just reduces your risk. But if you, if you have a hunch that one side is much, much better or you see something and you want to go to the other side than the rest of the fleet, then sure, go for it. But once you've gotten the gains, you want to try to work yourself back closer to the fleet to reduce your risk. All right, that's it for today. We're gonna keep talking about the same topic in the next video and we're gonna talk a little bit about when you should go extra high mode, like super high, which is uh, again, probably not the best BMG, but in some situations it might, might be the best. All right, thanks.